Hey everybody, thank you for joining us today for our um, webinar on how to get ready and prepare those funding proposals to for chapters to um, be able and members to be able to attend um, Catalyst 2023. Um, if you keep a calendar like I do, today is December, tomorrow is January, and next week it's time for Catalyst. So um, we are really excited uh, to be able to get ready and talk about Catalyst. And we hope that all of you are excited. And we hope that this webinar will help you um, get ready too. We'll talk a little bit about what you can expect and um, some things that you'll need to prepare for. Um, and most importantly, including some including important factors in a proposal um, when you're getting ready to uh, go and ask um, the college for funding or um, other organizations involved with, with your college um, so you can uh, be able to attend Catalyst. So with just a, a few housekeeping items. Well, first of all, my name is Patty Van Etter. I serve as the um, Chapter Outreach and Development Coordinator. You see, I have to look at my title every once in a while because I forget. But um, I work with all of the advisors in, in, in helping um, you uh, build strong chapters. And so if you have any questions about programming or anything like that, we can talk about that later. You can contact me as well via email. Um, and now a little housekeeping. So let us know that you're here by using, um, by putting your name and your chapter or your region in the chat box. Um, and you can also engage in the conversation by utilize, utilizing the chat. So if you have a question, you don't have to wait till the very end, just go ahead and put that in. And for questions, use the Q&A function. We have staff here that are monitoring that and we will stop as we go through and answer those questions. This session, as you know, is being um, recorded and we will share it along with the PowerPoint that we are using today via email by the end of the week so that you can look at it again or share it with others, um, with your team members at, the, at your chapter. So the student engagement team is here today that are helping out with this particular session. Jennifer Stanford, of course, we all know who Jennifer is. She's our Associate Vice President of Program Implementation. She's gonna help me with some of the particulars in this PowerPoint and presenting um, some of them. And Reagan Chastain is with us as well. She is our curriculum designer. She'll be monitoring the chat. We have other members of the team as Lana is Quesada, our student engagement program coordinator is with us and she's just uh, going to be monitoring some things as well. So we're excited to be able to do this for you. Um, and again, if you have any questions, please let us know. Just want to kind of go over, um, you know, as a Reagan, is there a question? Hey, yeah, you know, the chat is disabled for this particular the the yeah. only the only way that people can connect or send questions is through the Q&A. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why how that happened, but is there a way that we can we can fix that on the fly? I don't know how that happened. So let's just use the Q and A. That's really good. So just let us know um, that you're here, even in using the Q and A, and that would be really great. So. One of the things I've served as a as an advisor for almost ten years, and one of the biggest um, priorities that I had as an advisor was to prepare um, to get the chapter to um, catalyst, right? Because it's really it's important. It's a lot of fun, and you know you work hard all year long, and you want to give that opportunity to your students and also for yourself because you'll you'll see we'll be talking about benefits for you as an advisor. Um, to get by attending Catalyst and to share that with your college administration and also why it's important that students attend Catalyst, right? We, we know we've, we're coming out of the, the pandemic and, and money's tight and we want to make sure that you when you are going for the big ask and, for, and sending that um, proposal for funding that you're including the big picture of Catalyst, right? And the why, right? You know, outline the why it's important and how your uh, members will benefit um, from attending. 
you know, how and how are they going to benefit from it? You know, what are those things that, what are those objectives that you can include in your proposal and, and the activities that will fulfill those objectives um, as it relates to professional development, increasing chapter membership and all of that. And then the benefits, you know, the benefits for the attendees that attend, there's nothing better than Catalyst. You know, the minute you walk in the door, nothing, the first general session doesn't even have to happen. And they, at the registration check-in, there's a whole lot of fellowship that goes on there. You know, you'll hear I'm from Ohio or I'm from the Texas region and all of that. And all of those connections begin, they get, the minute they get off the plane and get to the facility. Um, it's just, you know, building that network and that joy that you have when we're at um, Catalyst. And then also for those that don't come, you know, we ask the students and advisors that come to Catalyst to please go back and share everything that they've learned. You know, if they've gone to an educational forum that was um, focused on, you know, how to use uh, PTK professional development courses as a means of increasing engagement for officers or, or members, you know, share that information because we know not every member from every chapter can attend. And then, of course, at the end, you know, we'll talk about that budget. You know, what are some of the things that you should consider putting in that budget so that you're giving a full picture of what it will you will need as far as the cost for attending Catalyst. Um, for those of you who don't know, what is Catalyst, right? And you may get a question from your, you know, uh, college administrator. Tell me, what is Catalyst all about? Why should we be taking a look at this? Um, and it is this what you're seeing right here is really, you know, what the the, the uh, description of Catalyst and it's purpose, right? It's a premier annual event. There are lots of honor societies that do this, but there's nothing that can hold a candle to what we do at Catalyst, right? It brings together members and advisors and all of the supporters um, for professional development and celebrations, right? That's huge. Celebrations um, for everything that we've done in our community, right? In not only our chapter, but in the society's community. Catalyst 2023 will include immersive opportunities for personal and professional development, college transfer guidance from experts, speakers who inspire. We'll take a look at that today. Of course, the election of our leaders, um, our international officers, which is always one of the I get chills. I'm getting chills now thinking about it every time we, we go through that election and see who's going to be our next set of student leaders and the endless opportunities to network and learn from other members in our PTK community. So if anybody at your college wants to know more about Catalyst, you can just share this with them. This is what happens. This is the this is the cornerstone, the foundation of um, what the event is. Um, I'm going to start with the purpose statement, right? Jennifer, am I, I'm going to continue on with this. Okay. Um, in your ask, in your big ask, or in your proposal to uh, whomever you are asking for funding, it's really good to include that purpose statement, right? Um, and this is an example here, and I, and I did talk a little bit about it in, in the previous slide, but in, to include the purpose statement, you know, you want to show what you're asking this money for, right? Not so much telling, you wanna show the picture and that's what this is all about, including, this is what we want this money for, this is what um, we expect to get out of this particular um, event and this is why it's important. And the other parts of it, you know, is to include some object objectives. And for that, I'm gonna turn it over to my colleague, Jennifer Stanford, and she's gonna walk you through some really great objectives that you can include in your proposal. Okay, well, and I'm going to uh, just throw in one other thing that I think uh, Patty and Reagan could also speak to, because this just occurred to me. So um, one of the things that we hear, and especially since this webinar is targeted uh, straight to chapter advisors, is if you are going to be getting funding from the college, then, and especially for students who are attending, it's really important uh, and, and certainly an expectation that those students are going to actively participate in the event uh, to the fullest. And so uh, any strategies, any, uh, you know, 
maybe incentive program that maybe your chapter provided. I know Reagan was also a chapter advisor uh, for several years. Patty, as a former advisor and regional coordinator, uh, you guys have, have been to convention, brought students to convention. So I just thought it would be good for you guys to share a little bit more about, you know, how you managed that, that expectation of the students' participation. Reagan, you want to go first? Reagan, you want to go first? Sorry, I know I'm totally throwing that out, but I think it's important. <laughs> um, specifically participation at Catalyst, is that what you're Yes, yeah. yes, like attending the events and, you know, not just treating this as, you know, a great time to just hang out in the hotel and, you know, hang out by the pool, but to actually uh, participate in the events of Catalyst. Well, I, I mean, I tried to encourage them because most of them, um, we were paying, the college was paying for them to attend. And, um, you know, um, it was a it was a privilege for them to get to go. And so I just tried to, um, you know, <laughs> impress upon them that if they didn't attend that, you know, that might harm other, you know, other chapter members from being able to go in the future if they weren't supporting, you know, the events. And, and it was an opportunity. I mean, the whole point of going is an opportunity for them to learn. Um, you know, we have amazing educational forums, amazing speakers. Um, I, I really honestly never had too much trouble convincing them. I think they were a little scared of me also, uh, to be quite honest. <laughs> Uh, a little good fear is never, uh, never a bad thing. Um, I mean, I know we, we made it, you know, we, we explained how important it was that, you know, the chapter was getting funding from, you know, from the school and, uh, that, um, like I said, it was, a, it was a privilege and it was a really big deal. Like they had to, our, um, our officers and any member who wanted to go, they had to, um, uh, they could do what we, we had a five-star plan with inside of our chapter. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, they actually earned points or credits. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and then the chapter paid for more, more of their attendance. So like uh, if they got up to a, you know, had they did up to the, the third level, we paid you know, like 75% or 50% of their attendance um, for them to attend. So I think, you know, just setting that expectation, even before you go, uh, right. that it's a privilege and that it's important and that it's 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 an honor to be there and um, that they're there to represent the college. And um, I, I think all of those things are kind of how um, I and like I said, a little fear is never bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. That is excellent. Patty, anything else you want to add to that? I do. I, I and and I. I totally got what, what Reagan said. I totally agree with everything she said. One of the things that I um, always wanted to make sure that as, as it relates to, to my chapter officers or in my chapter team was, you know, um, yes, there are awards that are handed out at, um, at, at uh, Catalyst. That's not why we're going, right? We're going there for all of the rest of it, right? It's it's an award to be there to be able to experience um, Catalyst, and for you to get what you need. You can meet with colleges on the spot and talk about talk to them about transfer opportunities, um, and you know it's definitely something that you know is a is an is a reward for your service. But also the other thing would be. We always took, um, you know, a few of the current officers and then always took a member with us that may serve as an officer the following year yeah. so that they could go. And, and I would send them out on, on tag team operations with educational forms. You know, I need you to go learn, learn more about honors in action because we struggled with that this year or with college project or let's learn more about the PTK edge programs or anything. And, and so I gave them a little schedule and they did it that way. And, and um, of course, for me. Um, as a chapter advisor, and I'm going it, to, it, it's definitely goes with what Reagan is saying, you know, for every general session, you needed to be in general session, right? We'll have fun other ways, but when the general yeah. sessions are happening, because the college is paying for this, um, for you to have this opportunity, you need to be there and because you need to come back and share this, the, these opportunities. So definitely, um, yeah, definitely in those terms. Yeah. 
Well, thank you both, because I know I, I put you on the spot there and that was perfect. And I and I do think as we go through some of these objectives and uh, as Patty set up, you know, uh, this is this is meant to give you an idea of how to put together a funding proposal. And so we're, we're talking through the objectives, but we also want you to have that, you know, that bigger picture of why Phi Theta Kappa does catalyst, you know, why we have an annual convention. And um, you'll see as we go through some of the benefits. And, and one of the things is that kind of place as text or city as text experience that uh, can happen. And so it's not just about, you know, the Phi Theta Kappa events that are held uh, for this year. It's going to be at the Columbus Convention Center. But we do want, and, and we've tried to incorporate some of that. Some of you will arrive a little bit early, and we always think that's a great opportunity to kind of check out the city. Uh, it's a very walkable uh, area where we're going to be with the hotel surrounding the convention center. It's going to be later in April, so we hope Ohio weather will be good. <laughs> It'll be nice and, you know, like a, a true spring day. And so um, all of those things are important. We're, we're not trying to, you know, make this students really anticipate this, you know, lecture after lecture experience. No, we truly do design it to be a dynamic experience that's all about learning and fun. It's not separating them. It's not let's go learn and then have fun. We want all of the experience uh, to be dynamic and transformational for them. And we, you know, we don't feel like that that is hyperbole to say that because we hear that year after year with our participants that it's there's something unique about uh, a Phi Theta Kappa convention. And, you know, it's like capturing that that magic in a bottle, you know, we're all there together. Uh, and the energy in general sessions, especially is is really off the charts. It's hard to describe. We have a video uh, that's a very quick, less than a minute preview, kind of a, a highlights preview of images from Catalyst. But until you've been and experienced it, it really is kind of hard to explain. So we're doing best and we do think that there is great value in, in the advisors, of course, attending as well as the students so that you can get that same energy and the same learning opportunities and make your chapter that much more engaged. Um, we do administrator awards. Today is our administrator awards deadline. And it's not a requirement, but that's one of the benefits of if your administrator or your college president is nominated and is uh, receives that award, we highly encourage them to come to Catalyst because it's so, uh, as I said, transformational in their image of Phi Theta Kappa and seeing it on that larger scale, uh, you know, truly an international community coming together. So those those are things I think that are inherent when we say engaging in professional and per personal development. It's all of that. It's it's catalyst. It's getting ready for catalyst, and it's hopefully the sharing of what they've learned when they get back from catalyst. Um, we do focus, of course, the general sessions uh, have speakers, and of course, the educational forums have speakers. We got a great number of educational forum proposals. Maybe some of you that are are watching this uh, were one of the ones that submitted, and so we appreciate that. We're going to be. Um, it really does allow us to kind of tap into a lot of the advisor talent and knowledge that that you have and that can be shared within our community. So it's not just headquarters staff. We've got a lot of other partners and, of course, advisors and chapters that are going to be presenting. So sharing that wealth of knowledge is, is part of the educational forums and not just for PTK activities, but, you know, career and transfer readiness. That's a huge part. Anything uh, related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's another big segment um, in, inside the educational forum tracks. Leadership development, uh, soft skills, all those things, health and wellness that we try to kind of have a well-rounded program when it comes to Catalyst because we have advisors from various 
uh, stages in their career. We've got, of course, the students in various stages as well. And then alumni come back. We have a lot of alumni who attend every year or for the first time as an alum. And then we have college administrators and other Phi Theta Kappa supporters. So we want our ed forums to kind of have something for everyone. And we do feel like that that's one of the biggest selling points of our convention. And we'll probably have, we haven't finalized the number, but probably close to a hundred different educational forums. All right, Patty, I think I can go to the next one. Um, we know that a lot of our Phi Theta Kappa members are planning to transfer to a senior college to complete a bachelor's or higher degree. So we do make a point to have a, a, a big senior institution transfer fair. We divide up, it, it's gotten so big that we wanted to make sure students really had an opportunity to, you know, not just go by and pick up a brochure, but have those in-depth conversations. Uh, we've even had members receive offers, uh, you know, have decisions made uh, for transferring right at Catalyst. So we want that to be a great opportunity. And so it, it takes place on Friday and Saturday. So there's devoted time for that. Um, OK, all right. And then um, let's see. The building relationships, uh, you know, as we were saying, that's that's one of the hallmarks of Phi Theta Kappa is fellowship, but all of those other hallmarks, scholarship, leadership, and service certainly come into play at Catalyst. And as I mentioned, that place is text learning. Um, you know, we're going to be at a convention center with hotels surrounding us, so you can't help but get out and enjoy some of the city, and we hope that you do take advantage of that as well. Um, meeting students and advisors from around the world. We, uh, we're expecting to be very close to our pre-pandemic numbers in terms of attendance for PTK Catalyst. Um, even coming back and earlier this year for PTK Catalyst, we had over 2,000. And so uh, traditionally we get closer to 4,000 and we're definitely expecting at least 3,000 or more uh, to attend Catalyst in Columbus. So we, uh, we know that there are so many conversations that happen, not only during those sessions and at forums, but of course on the way back to the hotel, you know, uh, over dinner. Uh, and we're going to talk about those food options in just a moment. It when we're talking about budget. And then, of course, headquarters staff. Most of the staff will be at Catalyst. Uh, we set up booths in our what we call the Opportunity Expo. It's a huge exhibit hall. And we want to have those conversations one on one with you to help your chapter, to help members with you know, their career and transfer goals. And so you see that there are lots of different departments there that are represented and can really have more one on one time with students. Um, the Scholar Bowl is back. We've been doing this, gosh, I, I was going to say just four or five years, but it's probably longer than that. You know, everything just seems like, you know, just happened a few years ago. So I can tell Reagan's really trying to remember when we started it. But it really is so much fun. We we do this in different rounds. So we have, you know, the, the initial rounds, then quarterfinals, and then the finals. And uh, we have an alum who is fantastic, should probably be a Jeopardy host uh, in the future, but we really do try to, you know, have that, that competitive spirit and what better place to have a scholar bowl than an honor society convention. So it's lots of fun and there are scholarships. Uh, there are, there's prize money uh, for the winning team. And then, you know, scholarships are also a big part of why students accept membership in Phi Theta Kappa. The scholarship programs that we administer with headquarters, the things like Geist White, All USA, uh, New Century Scholars, et cetera. A lot of those that are still in process right now uh, on the application site, we recognize the recipients that can make it to Catalyst. And so they have that on stage recognition. They're able to walk out in front of their peers and be celebrated uh, in the spotlight during PTK Catalyst. And then this is still fairly new, the International Officer Semifinalist. We have um, we now have two phases of our international officer election. This is the highest position of leadership for a student in Phi Theta Kappa. 
Uh, we narrow the field down uh, in March to at least the top four in each race. And so to make sure that there's no financial barrier for any chapter to have a candidate uh, run for international office, Phi Theta Kappa pays for those 20, those top 20 semifinalists to attend PTK Catalyst. And that includes registration, their hotel, their travel, and meals. So we really did want to make that commitment uh, to ensure a, as diverse a race as possible for our international office. So that's a huge huge part of, of convention. It's in our bylaws and our constitution that we elect. Uh, and by we, I mean the chapters elect the international officers every year uh, at Catalyst. All right. And then as we were saying, you know, one of the main, uh, I think it's a perennial issue that every chapter struggles with is student engagement. And so, you know, we focus on those that are that have some best practices, as well as some new uh, advisors getting that that fresh perspective on student engagement, you know, creating uh, exceptional partnerships that the chapter can have uh, both with the college and within the community. All of those things related to PTK engagement, we we make sure that we are covering. And a great example, Patty said this, uh, there are six rounds of educational forums, and it's a great idea if your chapter can bring uh, more than just a couple of students to divide up, you know, divide and conquer with those. And we are hoping since Columbus is drivable for so many of our chapters. Um, you know, it, it really is, uh, you know, uh, get it in the van, get the college van and uh, travel to Columbus. And so that makes it a lot easier to bring more students. And so we do anticipate um, that happening as well. Mm -hmm. All right, Patty, I'm going to turn right. it back over to yeah. you. A okay. lot of a big part of um, Catalyst is the inspiration, you know, the one on one conversations, the educational forums, and then also the A list um, keynote speakers that um, are always attend. And if you didn't know, um, our first um, keynote speaker this year will be Gina Davis. She's an Academy Award winning actor. She's also the founder and chair of the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in media, right? Uh, D Davis is one of Hollywood's most respected actors, appearing in several roles that became cultural landmarks such as Muriel Pritchett in The Accidental Tourist, um, Thelma and Louise, my favorite movie, um, and Dottie Hinson in A League of Their Own, another favorite movie. So she's also a world-class athlete, at one time the nation's 13th rank archer, She's a member of the Genius, Genius Society Mensa and is now recognized for her tireless advocacy of women and girls as founder and chair of the nonprofit Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media. This is um, if you hear that her that description, that little bit of bio, you should be kind you should be in the back of your mind as an advisor thinking, oh, this is this will be good for the art and science of play, our honor study topic. And maybe there's something that Gina says when you attend her session that will inspire you to look further into what she um, is presenting about and also with the honor study topic. We have another speaker coming. We just don't know who it is yet. It's soon to be announced. We can't wait. We, Jennifer and I met with the um, events team today and we hear it's coming. We, they wouldn't even give us a clue, so don't. I mean, we would take bets on it or, or rides on it, but we can't wait that uh, until that information is released. It will be released on the um, PTK Events Catalyst webpage. Um, on the portal. So stay tuned. I'm sure it's going to be exciting. And then, of course, we always hear from our leaders, our student leaders, and you will hear um, from two because we have co-international presidents this year. First, um, Kezia Christie and Chetta, she's our um, co-international president from, from the state of Hawaii, who's doing a, a remarkable job serving in her role, and also a keynote address from uh, Dayrana Sanders from Arapaho Community College in Colorado. So we're looking forward to hearing what the ladies have to say. Um, the, the students' um, speeches, speak, speak speeches are very inspiring and something that I always look forward to um, every year. And 
If you didn't need any more inspiration, we always hear from our um, CEO and president, Dr. Lynn Tincher Ladner. Um, she, through all of the keynote addresses that she has given in her during her tenure as CEO and um, president, they've been inspiring, they've been uh, thought provoking, and they've been right on point. And so it's it, it, it's an honor to get to hear from her again at um, Catalyst. Um, so I, I'm just gonna go back one more. So lots of inspiration, but like I said, those are during the general sessions. And there's also inspiration that goes on through the entire event, whether it's with Scholarable or whether you watch the, um, the, the scholar parade of all the scholars being recognized for their achievement. And one of, the, one of the things that I get my inspiration from every year is the parade of flags. When the regions come down in the very beginning, it's, um, it, it, it's a remarkable sight to see the student leaders from every region come down and, and be proud of their region and, and be recognized for their, um, what they've been able to accomplish this year. So plenty of inspiration from the time you get off to the plane, you get in the door and you're still talking about it years after. And one of the things that a lot of us alums do and find the Kappa when we get there is like, okay, which how many conventions have you been to? How many conventions have you been to? It's like a game. And I this year I'm proud to say this is number 25 for me. So I'm going to be searching out um <laughs> some more friends that have been to 25 conventions. I know there's some that have done more than 25. So um it, it's just an awesome time and um full of inspiration, full of inspiration and benefits. Well, we put uh, just some quotes. Uh, we could we could put a lot in here, but we thought that these kind of captured uh, from our participants in the past. Um, you know, we talked about the unique energy that Catalyst has. Uh, this quote from Morgan Brown, who's an alum who became a chapter advisor, you know, talks about instill the uh, really how it instills motivation and positivity in her. It, you know, kind of at the end of an academic year, you can be running low on the tank. And so, you know, Catalyst really does that for all of us. I know it does it for the staff. I mean, yes, we're tired when we are finished with, with Catalyst, but it really does inspire. And those of us in student engagement, we get to see members and advisors at regional meetings that we attend. But a lot of our staff, unless, you know, uh, members come to headquarters, they don't have that interaction. So it really is an, an incredible benefit for the staff to be able to interact and realize, you know, what, what our programs and what our benefits, uh, how they impact our members' lives. And uh, another quote, this advisor talks about, you know, learning new strategies for uh, really increasing their membership and engaging with students. We know that that's every year, as we said, I mean, even chapters that are strong and, you know, have a lot of, of members can still, every year is a new year, right? And especially in a two-year college environment with, with a lot of turnover, um, that becomes, you know, something that you're always looking for new ideas. And uh, that's one of the great things about coming to Catalyst is hearing uh, from those that are in the trenches and, and really testing things out. And then I think there's another, um, just a couple things about the networking experience. And this is something that we remind ourselves of too, especially those of us um, who do travel as part of our job. You know, we can get a little bit jaded about, you know, how many states we've been to and all of that. And we forget, and even at regional conventions, we forget that a lot of our students, not all, of course, we know that we have a lot of different backgrounds and diversity within Phi Theta Kappa, but there are a significant number of students that really have not traveled. This may be their first time on an airplane if you're going to be flying uh, to Columbus. Uh, this could be their first time out of the Tri-County area, much less the state. And so this, this experience of going into a huge convention center of really, you know, maybe going to restaurants and, and other big city attractions that they would normally go to and having that experience with a band of like-minded individuals, it, it really is life-changing for them. And so we never want to, you know, downplay that. That That is part of the college experience. It's one of the best things about college is really helping students expand the, those horizons. All right. 
Okay, back to you, Patty. Thanks. So we're going to spend the next couple of minutes in the nitty gritty and the details of what you're going to want to um, plan for in your um, funding proposal and a couple of other um, important items. But first of all, I want to make sure that we want you to know that you can bill to chapter option is available. So if you, as an advisor, if you're going to go in to register your chapter, you can have, um, it's not something that you have to pay today or at the time that you are registering for, you can bill the chapter for the cost of registration. Um, Phi Theta Kappa and the events department is very flexible with changes to registration. So if, a, if there's a change with a student who couldn't go and you can replace them with another, we're, we're very flexible with that. And there is an early bird registration um, deadline, and that's January 31st. So keep an eye on that. There's different scales, but the, the earliest registration, early bird registration ends on January 31st. And you can find that information, um, and I will show you in a second um, on the Catalyst event page. What's included? So this is really important. You want to make sure that you're um, making sure you're making arrangements for this. So two meals are included for all attendees, right? And you'll be able to figure out, and I think it's a lunch and a dinner, and it's you'll see that on the, the Catalyst event schedule. It's, it's, it's highlighted there as to when a meal is being provided. And then there's one additional meal for advisors. We are having a breakfast, I believe, for advisors. So all advisors, two meals, and, and that for all advisors, it's three. For all attendees, it's two. There are five general sessions this year and, of course, the Hallmark Awards Gala. Um, six rounds of educational forums. Um, two senior college transfer fairs. Of course, the election of society leaders. We'll have a PTK Catalyst farewell celebration. So we'll have dinner and then the awards will be given out and then there'll be a, a DJ and some dancing, right, to celebrate. Um, the Opportunity Expo, which if you've been around for a while, we used to call it the marketplace, but now we call it Opportunity Expo. And that Opportunity Expo is just, you know, everything that you need to know about PTK and want to visit about it is right there. It's just a huge gathering place. And every registered attendee will receive a clear PTK Catalyst registration bag because it's part of our safety protocol. And to come into the general sessions, you'll be, you know, you'll use that um, to put your belongings in. Some additional budgets that you're going to want to um, in include in your ask is, you know, if you're going to be traveling by air, um, there's a link directly to the um, website where Phi Theta Kappa has set you up with, you know, um, which airports to fly into and then also um, ground transportation. How do you get from the airport to um, the hotels? There are five um, hotels, although it's this morning and we've heard that uh, one is already fully booked. One is getting there and there are three others. So now's the time to start thinking about making those hotel reservations. There is a deadline for that and you will see it. It's in March. Um, you'll want to make your hotel reservations. Um, then it's one link and you'll be able to choose which of the five hotels you would like to stay at um, to make your reservations for. And then meals, there's also a link, there's links on all the, all three of these, these buttons, but for meals, what's really um, exciting, we learned today that um, within the convention center where we're going to be, there are going to be, uh, there are six different um, restaurants right in the convention center that are, uh, the meals are $15 and under, which is really good. And besides that, there's this other place right outside and down the street from the convention center called the North Market um, Food Hall. Again, lots of affordable options for restaurants for um, you to, uh, you know, get grab a cup of coffee or get a lunch or, or whichever you would like to do. So we're really happy about that. There's, of course, under the transportation link, there's information about um, Lyft and Uber, Ubers and all of that and taxis. So you want to take a look at that. In addition, if you want to search the area, right, what's, what else can you do in the Columbus area? 
I put um, uh, a, we're, no, I think, no, that's probably in the meal section. So on the meals oh. page, it'll take you to the Columbus, Ohio um, website where you can learn about what's in the area. I learned something new today. I didn't know yeah. that Columbus has a zoo, Jennifer. Yes. Who's involved in that zoo? This is really Jack cool. Hanna. Jack Hanna is as world famous. You may have seen him on a lot of uh, talk shows with his animals. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, a really, really nice, very nice zoo. I mean, comparable, I'm sure, to the San Diego Zoo. So it's a big deal. It is a big deal. And aquarium. An aquarium and there's also yeah. plenty of museums um which some uh, an important fact that i just learned today was not i did was not aware of it columbus is actually the 14th largest city in the united states so it's a pretty yeah. big deal this is a yeah. pretty big deal and there's that certain university there oh, as well yes <laughs> University of Ohio, right? Uh, well, Ohio State. Oh, oh Ohio State. I'm sorry. The, I'm sorry. sorry. The, the Ohio the, State. Yes. I know. For all yeah. of the, the, I know, the football fans, I should get that <laughs> right. Um, so, yes, it's a big college town. So there's right. lots of affordable options for food and activities. So you'll want to take a look at that. And the other thing is, too, as an advisor, Google was my best friend. If I wanted to know what was around and check things out, Google it. You can, you know, create your own um, events as it relates to match up with the schedule for um, for Catalyst. On this last page, and you'll receive this PowerPoint, you'll have a link to the Catalyst event page um, and also a link to, to see the highlights. And one of the other things I wanted to really focus on is if you have any questions regarding um, the hotels or registration itself or any of that, um, please send them to events at ptk.org. Then we'll get right back to you. It's a that's just that one that one email and they will and someone from the staff will get back to you the sooner the better. So take a look at this. I encourage everyone to take a look at, you know, possibly getting that that funding proposal created and you may have some questions along the way and it's good to be proactive and if you have a question about it you can definitely reach out to our events team and they'll respond to you. Jennifer, I don't know if you had anything else you wanted to add or did I miss I, anything? No, I think that was great. I I mean, you know, to me that that's one of the biggest questions is, you know, about food options for students. Um, I did look it up and you were right. It is Friday lunch that's included as part of the Catalyst registration for all attendees. And then Saturday evening is the the uh, dinner um, either right before I have to look uh, right before. Um, I know I think it's right after the gala. So after the awards Absolutely. session. So then they go to dinner and then straight into the dance. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the, there is a food court, as Patty was saying, there are several restaurants right in the hotel uh, that are, you know, not just the typical restaurants <laughs> that you'll find in hotels, but, you know, some fast food type options that make it a lot more affordable if you don't want to get out. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more thing that I heard about. I'm really happy about this. Um, no bad hair days because oh. all of the hotels <laughs> are connected to the convention center right. and there's a skywalk. So even if there is a little bit of uh, inclement weather or it's chilly, yeah. we don't ever step foot outside, but I encourage you to go outside because it's always very important to get some fresh air. Yes. Yes. Um, and as a former advisor, the other thing that I always like to um, remind advisors to who have not attended Catalyst before, and we talk about, we use that terminology, Hallmark Awards Gala, and it, yeah. it, it, it makes folks think that, okay, is this, you know, tuxedos, ball gowns, and things like that? No, stay within a, a budget. It is a dressier type affair, but like, yeah pants or skirts or dresses are fine is you will see some folks that'll go to that yeah. mile it, it is but it's not necessary at all right so students don't need to go out and spend exorbitant amounts on fancy clothes to go to the gala that's right yeah yeah you'll see it all at <laughs> So uh, we had mentioned the hotel reservation deadline I did find that on the site it's March 17th um, so make sure you're aware of that and uh, we did have one question in the chat about where uh, we could find the, the video and the PowerPoint. And so since this particular session is an advisor only session, so students 
do not have, will not have access to this. Only advisors will have access to this. It's going to be posted in the advisor course, uh, which is fivestaradvisor.utk.org. Um, and if you scroll down to the very bottom of the page, uh, you'll see a, a heading that says PTK chapter development session. So all of the advisor courses that have been done uh, over the past, I don't know, year, year and a half, uh, uh, all of the ones that we've recorded are actually housed there if they were advisor only. Um, so uh, check that out. You might find some other things there that uh, that you want to, to use. Now, you're welcome to show, uh, uh, to use those PowerPoints with your students from um, the advisor sessions, but we, we didn't want to make those publicly open, the, the whole thing publicly open to students because we wanted advisors to have um, the ability to uh, speak freely in the advisor sessions. Right. Uh, so, uh, but uh, anyway, so those are all at um, uh, at Five Star Advisor, and then you can go to the bottom of the page and get those PowerPoints. Mm -hmm. And that's really all that I saw in the chat, but if, uh, or in the Q&A, uh, but if you have additional questions, we're happy to answer them now. If you mm -hmm. want to throw them in the Q&A, we'll, we'll try to answer them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the things I will do, because this is important, just like Hallmarks, I mean, everything we do as an advisor is important, but um, with the Hallmark Awards sessions that we've done, and I think for this Catalyst one, I, I will send direct links for you to act, access them via email. So the same email that I sent to you uh, saying that we were having this and this was the link, we'll put the links in there for you as um, convenience to you, because I know you would want to have that. Um, but in case you lose the email, Reagan, just explain where you can find its permanent location in um, the advisor program. And before we let everybody go, we have a we have a very important session next week on Wednesday. Cheers to advisors, and we're going to lighten the load a little bit. We just want every advisor who's available to join us. We'll send a link out again next week. Um, bring your favorite um, beverage. No judging here, uh, a snack, and we are going to celebrate you before we uh, break for the holidays. It's been an incredible year. We're super proud and grateful um, for all of you. So we want to celebrate you next Wednesday, the 14th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we will get that information out to you. We hope to see everyone at Catalyst. And uh, if you have any questions, like we said, about the objectives or, or the benefits and how to you know, include all that, just please feel free, feel free to reach out to us and we'll, we'll work with you on that. Yes, I see Susan Morris had posted, we can't wait to welcome you to Ohio. Yeah. Uh, we expect there is gonna be a lot of those um, demonstrations, the Ohio, O-H-I-O. So, oh, yeah. so yes, thanks Susan for being here. Yeah, we're excited. Very excited. Uh, stop sharing, I guess. All right, we're good. I think we're good. Well, thank you, everybody. And yeah. we'll get this out to you real quick. And um, thanks again for all that you do. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Thanks. Thank you.